Hello there Sagittarius, welcome to your tarot reading. Um, I am sincerely sorry that you guys are always uh, the last sign that I do, but um, either way, I hope this video finds you well, strong and hopeful. Um, first of all, if you do decide to watch this reading, I would recommend that you watch it all the way, okay? Because I feel like you have some spiritual messages that are coming through and uh, when it comes to these spiritual messages um, it, it involves a story okay and so it can be a little bit I'm gonna sound a little bit long-winded so don't lose your patience bear with me and try to watch this through because I feel like there are important messages in here for you and I feel like it might explain a few things and I also feel like you might come out of it a lot more uh, ready for the month of February okay not that February is going to be scary it's going to be great but I feel like we need to take stock occasionally of where we have been in order to know where we are and in order to then know where we're going okay so hopefully this um, video will you know be helpful in giving you a sense of direction okay so when I was shuffling out this um, spread I saw a, uh, a movie, like an actual movie, it's the movie The Shawshank Redemption. I don't know if any of you have seen it. If you have not, please watch it. It is like one of the greatest movies ever made. It is amazing. It's a very transformative movie. So um, basically, now I, I, I can't talk about it because I don't want to give it away. But either way, so it's, uh, it's about this man, right? So he's in prison and he has to crawl through this sewer, okay? Um, he, he's crawling through the sewer and you know, sewage water, it's like yucky and disgusting. And so he crawls through the sewer and then he comes out clean, okay? So um, without giving away any of the plot or any of the spoilers, there's a scene where he crawls through the sewer and he's like gagging because of how badly the sewer smelled how 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 difficult it was for him to you know get through that ordeal and then he came out and he's like bathed in the sun okay so it's about redemption right and so when i saw this i was thinking um you know looking at this card and this is exactly what i saw um we have here the eight of uh wands okay but look at this uh snake it's a water snake right and look at all the stuff that's just floating around in the water. You have like acorns, you have uh, felled trees, you have rotting leaves. So like it's wading around in this mucky water and it's emerging, c coming up for air or even like emerging and coming out very, very clean, okay? So I feel as if, you know, for many of you, um, there is an interaction between you and another person, okay? And I also feel like, you know, the the situation itself was, um, was very, very difficult, okay? Um, I, I feel like the negatives outweigh the positive in this connection. And it could be like a work situation, it could be a partner, it could be like somebody who's quite significant to you. I feel like in the past, you might have waded through, you know, these dark, murky waters with them. You might have um, gone through very, very intense, deep periods where you weren't sure if you're going to make it out alive, if you're going to emerge victorious, or if you're going to come out clean, okay? It was a, a very transformative relationship or ordeal that you had to get through okay and i feel like in order for us to make sense of it i'm sense i'm feeling like this was a very karmic connection okay and i feel that you have ended a karmic connection you have done everything within your power to not stray from I guess like to to not buckle under the pressure you have done everything within within your power to get out of this situation 
or even to emerge from the situation without letting it drag you down, okay? I mentioned in the past, Sagittarius, you guys are very, very optimistic and you guys always, always bounce back, okay? So even in the toughest times, you know how to make a joke and you still find humor in a situation. And so the way that you live your life, I feel like it's very carefree. It's very live and let live and it's very forgiving. Okay, so no matter how, how much someone has wronged you, I feel that you know you 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 don't hold on to grudges and you have learned early on to to let things go it's like you know water off a duck's back okay it's like being waterproof where nothing permeates your skin nothing gets under your skin and nothing gets to you and so I feel like because you're so buoyant and, and optimistic this is the one situation, okay, that, that really got under your skin. And I feel like in, in, the, 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 um, in the midst of dealing with and then wrapping up this karmic connection, um, it was very, very hard. And I feel like it made you, a little, it, it made you, uh, it dull your light. It dull your sense of optimism. And I feel for many of you, you weren't really sure if you're going to come out of this the same person. If you're going to come out of this like bitter and resentful and jaded, or if you're still going to be your optimistic self. And I do sense for many of you, you came out on top for many of you. Okay, so whatever um, muck and sludge and slime and, and, and yuckiness that you've had to wade through, you emerge from it coming out the other side clean as a whistle okay and still as positive and as optimistic and as buoyant as ever we have here the queen of wands this is your energy this is self-empowerment this is coming into the sense of i'm leaving this behind because i don't belong here okay this is the realm of water this is not the place for you to be and here you're in your element so there was like choppy emotional waters that you had to overcome there was a connection with another person where they threw a lot of baggage at you they they they, they threw a lot of um i'm hearing as well like um they drag you down to a place that they, they drag you down to the place and strip you of your will to live. That's how bad it was. And I feel like you're seeing it for what it is. And I'm sensing that you don't want to be dragged down with them. You don't want to go, you know, it's like a, a sinking ship. Okay, you, you, we're going to like um, swim for it. We're not going to sink. We're not going to take it lying down. We're not going to be a doormat to another person. And we're definitely not letting them um, take us down with them. So I feel like you have fought back. You have reclaimed your life. You have decided to steer your life in a different direction. You have came, you came out of it victorious and now you're back in the driver's seat of your life and you're coming out like victorious, okay? I feel for many of you, this is something that, you know, might have happened in the, the year of 2019. And I feel like the, the 2019 time frame was like the last straw. It's like, that's it, you know, you cross the line, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to allow this. And I feel like there was a, a major shift, like a significant, um, like cutting off, okay? Like just cutting somebody off and, and, and not giving them any more of your resources. I feel for many of you, this could be financial. Somebody might be leeching off you financially and you're just like, nope, I'm, I'm, I'm removing that safety net. And then for others, this is like somebody who constantly, constantly gets in trouble and they constantly reach out to you um, to, to bail them out of trouble. And you're like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm, I'm taking back my power. And then for others of you, this is somebody who's like very, very self-absorbed 
and I feel like every time they call you there's some drama every time they call you there's some issue or some problem with them that that you know they can't resolve on their own and you know being a fire sign and being the warrior and being the the adventurous sign we like to experience things we like to know so we're always like willing to jump in and help somebody who's in distress right but if it keeps happening over and over and over and over again then you're just like you know what you need to learn to take care of yourself so i feel like there is a major um breaking away that you have done in regards to this person okay so that's what i'm feeling first i see you through the month of february looking back at your life okay reminiscing and thinking about and, and reflecting okay and i feel like you might be talking to somebody maybe um, like somebody who's younger than you and giving them advice and then i feel like in the process of like giving people advice or in the process of um uh in the process of like looking things over i feel for many of you you're going to look back at certain events in your life you're like i can't believe i survived a divorce i can't believe i was in an abusive relationship and you know I was brave enough to walk away even though I was very, very scared. I can't believe I put myself in a, an abusive relationship. I can't believe the, the, the things that, you know, this person lied to me about that I put up with for so long. And so I feel like you're really reflecting on the past experiences and all the, especially all the negative things that you have been through and you're just like there is a god up there because everything that i i have been through should have broken me but i came out on top i survived right so i feel for many of you even if you don't believe that there is a higher being even if you're just watching this video recreationally and you don't believe that there is like um, a grand design or there is you know like a, a divine helping hand behind the scenes uh, if you are a Sagittarius and you have been, you know, crawling through the sludge, okay, and you came out clean, and I feel like it says a lot because all of these things would have broken a normal person, but not only were you, like, more optimistic than other signs, but I also feel like you had a, there, there was a divine hand at work here to carry you carry you through to salvation okay and so i feel that you're looking at your life and you're just like all the crises that i've averted you know all the times that i've gotten myself out of trouble i feel that you are starting to believe in the divine i also feel that you are a lot more in touch now with possibly an ancestral spirit that is protecting you uh, maybe even your spirit guides steering you away from trouble and into safer water so i definitely feel that you are coming into the sense of like i believe in the divine i believe that there's something out there i believe there's a helping hand behind the scene that has you know uh, helped me avert these crises in the past okay so now we're kind of like at square, like um, at, at ground zero, like, like phase one, okay? Where we have been through the sludge, we came out, and now we're just like, okay, what's the next thing I'm gonna get myself into? Learn from the past and make sure that whatever you get yourself into, if it, if, if it even reminds you of the past, leave it alone, okay? If it even smells like the past, leave it alone because i feel that it's like a lot of the times with sagittarius out of sight out of mind right and so don't let history repeat okay if it smells like that sludge that that you had no business being in crawling through having to deal with leave it alone okay so that's what i want to say um because I do feel there is going to be communication coming back through for you from the past. And so if it smells like the past, leave it alone. Um, what I have here is um, I feel like there's somebody who's trying to break the ice with you. I have here the penguin 
and this is the nine of cups okay uh, wish fulfillment but the way I look at this penguin this is like the Sagittarius card look at the face of the penguin it's kind of like huh are you talking to me it's kind of like that um, there's like an iceberg right behind this penguin and so I always think of this as like breaking the ice okay trying to get your attention trying to uh, get their way in with you trying to reach out to you uh, trying to find a way to like make that connection with you or reconnect with you you have a lot of things that is uh, bringing you a lot of happiness and stability right now look at all those shells the shells are water by the way so like this would be the nine of cups okay so you have all these shells the, the the penguin has all these shells that it has been collecting for quite some time okay and they also i believe eat like mollusks and seashells and or, or whatever it's sea creatures sea urchins as well and so i feel like you're in an environment where all your needs are met you're very very happy you're very content with the trajectory of your life and then all of a sudden the past rears its ugly head okay we have here the king of swords and um this could be an air sign aquarius gemini and libra okay it doesn't have to be but i feel a little bit of a cunning uh self-serving calculating energy with this this character not that air signs are like this but just the way this card came out um we have as well eight of wands communication arrows of love okay things happening very very quickly and communication coming through i feel like you had a tumble in this dark water with this person in the past um and there's a spectrum here for some of you you were smart enough to get away before you were mired uh, you know neck deep in that mucky water okay and then for others of you you might not have gone away fast enough might not have you know foreseen the consequences and you were really tumbling down this dark abyss with this person that's what i'm feeling um i feel that they're calculating i feel that they're a little bit more on the self-serving end i feel like everything that they do is very measured very calculated and i'm hearing you know uh, what can I get out of this person? Like, what's in it for me? Like someone who's very, very egocentric and someone who's all about me, me, me. And so I feel like this is someone who is selfish. And I, I feel like... Emotionally, you were very, very invested in this person. You gave them your all. Okay? You gave them a lot, you gave them everything, you gave them your all. And I feel like they, they never reciprocated, okay? They, it's, it's, it seems to me as if I'm looking at this, the, the king, okay? The kings, they expect the peasants to come to them with the harvest. With the tributes with the um the it's like collecting taxes right i i feel like this person has a sense of entitlement like oh i expect the sagittarius to do all of that for me you know i i don't need to lift a finger the sagittarius will come running at my beck and call or even you know they'll, they'll do it for me because you know they love me or because whatever it is there there is a sense of entitlement about this person they don't have to do anything, but they expect you to do everything. And I feel like when they communicate with you, you might have been wanting this person to communicate with you. As much as you have learned from the past, as much as uh, you have realized now and reflected on everything that you've been through, Sagittarius, I feel like you know you have you, you might not have that institutional memory. It's like, remember what happened five years ago with this person and they really, really hurt us? It's like out of sight, out of mind because you guys are very, very innocent and you guys are don't hold grudges and you guys are very willing to let bygones be bygones. But remember what this person did five years ago? And so you might have forgiven this person, okay? Uh, yes, they dragged you through the mud, 
but you moved on you so you know out of sight out of mind and so they're trying to come in to communicate and for some of you it could be like you know just somebody who who um things weren't that bad okay and so you're willing to forgive and then for others it was really bad and so there's a spectrum here and depending on where this person where your experience with this person lies along that spectrum whether it's really really bad or whether it was like bad but not devastating it's still pretty bad and so i feel like they're connecting with you they see you in a state where you're really happy you're living in a space of plenty you have enough food you are you know in your element a penguin on a glacier that's you're in your element and then you know enough time has passed where they're just like okay i can reach out now maybe they're no longer mad at, at me because they know you well they know that you forgive and forget and they know that you know out of sight out of mind and so they know that if they hurt you you know four months ago four months is enough time for a sagittarius person to heal so i can reach out and the sagittarius person might miss me and so there's communication coming in and and in some ways many of you have been manifesting it many of you have been wanting to hear from this person i do feel that you do miss this person and for some of you they're not entirely all that bad but i feel like whatever interaction you had with them it, it was difficult it was like it dragged you into a into the emotional waters that you were not comfortable with okay and they're reaching out again and i feel for many of you when they reach out you're worried i have here eight of feathers eight of swords what do I do? What do I say? What do they want from me? Should I ask them what they want? So you have like all of these questions circulating in your mind and I feel like you're not really sure. And I, I'm just sensing this person has a sense of entitlement about them where if they reach out, they expect you to respond. And I feel that you don't want to fall back into old habits and yet you have this very instinctive and, and programmed response when they uh, text me I respond when they email me I respond when they call me you know I come running it's like it's very it's very programmed it's very instinctive it's it's like a, a habit that's very hard to break you're making really good strides with your life Sagittarius you're heading towards great things you're independent and you're very happy right now so if it smells like the past, you might want to leave it alone, okay? I feel for many of you, um, this is a relationship partner. For others, this is like a, a job situation. And I'm sensing like you did a lot for this company and they kept wanting more and more they kept feel they they felt like it was their right to extract and demand more of you and you gave and gave and gave and i feel that you know you're moving on you're really happy where you're at right now and they're like hey do you want this higher position that uh we didn't give you before but now we want to give it to you don't go back to it okay um don't go back to it it's like it's the same old spiel it's the same old trick. It's the same old cycle. Nothing has really changed here. And I know that a lot of the times, you know, we have an emotional pull to a person because of the way we feel about them. And um, it can be really, really hard, okay, to kind of, um, to, to try to not be lured in. And then I also feel for many of you the, the whole concept about redemption okay and this is what I really love about Sagittarius people you guys believe in you know the whole concept that people can change right because you looked at your past experience look at everything I've been through it didn't break me it made me a stronger person and so you feel like people can change People don't always have to be mean and nasty and vindictive. People can change with the right environment, with the right love, with the right support. People can change. So you're very big on giving people, you know, second chances. You believe in rehabilitation. You believe that people can change 
with the right love and care and environment. And because of that too, you might not have that institutional memory that, you know, this person, you, you want to give them the benefit of the doubt. You hope that things have changed. But I can assure you, if it's like within the past year, nothing has really changed. If you're giving them five years, ten years, then yes, there's progress, there's, there's movement, there's change. And maybe, you know, this time around, it can work. But if it's just a year, a span of a very, very short period of time, relatively, right? It's not enough time to see any long lasting change. And so I do sense they're reaching out, wanting to break the ice with you. But once again, don't get yourself twirled back into this dark abyss that you work really, really hard to recover from and to, you know, uh, climb out of. Okay. I'm seeing it's like a whirlpool in the ocean and the water is just turning black. Okay. So I do sense that it's not negative. Okay, so I, I'm just going to leave it at that. And once again, you know, everyone has their own free will. If you want to um, give this another go around, if you feel that you need to do it for closure, for, for knowledge, for whatever reason that you feel you need to do it with, I'm, I'm not going to stop you. I can't stop you. <laughs> and I also feel that, you know, a lot of the times we want closure, right? And so maybe approaching this in baby steps might be better than just plunging right in, okay? And then looking at this person a little bit more skeptically because I do sense that nothing has really changed here. And um, it doesn't help what I'm gonna say next. I do feel this person has really missed you. And I feel like they have really felt your presence and I know that's not gonna help. Um, but once again, Sagittarius, I feel that you deserve a lot more. I feel like this person might be giving you crumbs, okay? And you deserve a lot more and you have a lot more. You have a lot more abundance. So if you've been trying to manifest um, reconciliation or even contact or even communication, you're definitely getting it here with this wish card here, the nine of um, cups, okay? So we're moving on. What I have in the middle, we have here the Page of Pentacles, okay? This is the Sly Fox, okay? Um, this is about being really crafty and learning how to take care of yourself, okay? And Sagittarius, taking care of yourself is not just about, you know, finding where the food is, finding shelter. It's not just about finding a hole that you can crawl into when it rains outside so that you're uh, away from the rain. It's not just about, you know, being able to hunt Taking care of yourself uh, in, in an emotional way is also self-care. It's also about being smart, okay? And a lot of the times I feel like Sagittarius, you don't take care of yourself emotionally. That um, emotional health might not be as important to you, okay? And so when it comes to your emotional health with this page of pentacles, it's about learning what works for you. It's about learning what makes you happy. It's about learning what brings you joy. And then on the flip side of that, learning what doesn't make you happy, learning about what doesn't give you joy and learning what you shouldn't have in your life so that you're not dragged down emotionally. And once again, I'm gonna to defer to this person right here. Knowing what you've been through and how to avert those deep emotional, you know, um, I would call them like little puddles that on the surface they look really really shallow and then you step on them you just want to splash around in your rain boots you step on them and you sink all the way in so on the surface it looks very harmless but underneath it's like muck okay and so I feel like we need to be very aware of, of our emotional well-being and what and who we should avoid so that we don't, um, so, so that our emotional state is not disturbed, okay? So I do feel there's a lot of learning here. Learning what works for you emotionally and learning what uh, doesn't work for you emotionally. So 
that's I, I'm, I'm done with this uh, area okay I'm not going to lecture anymore but um I do want to move on here um, what I'm seeing as well is um, I feel like there is definitely like a new person a new connection that's going to be coming into the picture for you and I feel like this is a person as well that uh, will make you very happy okay and the the first thing about this person is uh, when you meet this person and I feel like for the month of February until the month of May so February March April May this is um, the the coming of this person into your life and what I have here is an earth sign so we have here the Queen of Crystals or the Queen of Pentacles okay this is like a hedgehog okay and when I saw this card I was thinking automatically about somebody who's a little bit prickly somebody who's a little bit like they, they have really really thick skin okay they they don't get hurt easily you can say whatever you want to say to them and they don't take offense to it so they're they're just like they've been through a lot they've dealt with many many different types of people they're not um like overly sensitive they've been through the ringer as well so i feel like you're meeting somebody who has really experienced life who might have also been dragged through the mud and who has come out squeaky clean and so when the two of you meet each other i feel like there's a mutual sense of understanding we have the high priestess and the queen of pentacles okay so this is like a mutual understanding intuition uh sensing like the the soul of another person understanding the other person like having a very very deep emotional spiritual connection with another person where they can just tell you yeah I, i've been through a bad relationship and you get it because you have also been there okay and they could tell you like oh yeah i was in an abusive relationship you sympathize because you have already been there and so i feel like there's a lot of similarities when it comes to bad uh, like past experiences but at the same time i do feel that you know while you're still very happy and giddy and you survived it all this person is a little bit more on the jaded end okay so look at how a, they're a little bit more on the gloomy end they're a little bit more pragmatic and they're going to come in with their quills to protect themselves so i feel like in the spirit of self-preservation this person has created a, a wall or a barrier or like a, a tough skin to protect themselves from being hurt and when people are like this they're usually very soft and cuddly and warm under the surface but you have to give it a lot more time in order for that side of them in order for them to trust you to show that vulnerable side of them so i do feel like you're peas in a pod okay i feel like you're amused by this person i feel that the emotional or the communication between you and this person is very humorous and because i feel like you both understand each other and then i also feel like you're able to extract a lot of humor or you're able to make the other person laugh or you're you find this person amusing um, i also feel like you find them not in a bad way but i feel like the things that they do you find them they might be for example clumsy and you find that endearing they might be very pessimistic and you find that endearing they might be like kind of moody and you find that endearing so i do feel like this per this person here it's a little bit of an oddball okay and when i think of an oddball i automatically think like aquarius people because aquarius are very eccentric and then right on top of it we have the star card which is the card of aquarius so for some of you you might be dealing with aquarius for others you might be dealing with a an earth sign a taurus a virgo or a capricorn and either way i feel that you're going to find this person very endearing okay you're going to be really happy with this person and i do sense the the connection it might be very friendship based from the very beginning and then the attraction grows and grows and grows over time so it, it's it's just like very unassuming it's a, a relationship that before you know it you're in a relationship so it starts out on a very friendly platform which is great and then i feel that it can develop into something a lot more because you you have a lot of fun with this person okay um so with this new person 
I feel like everything that you have been through and everything that they have been through, the two of you are coming together to kind of like restore each other's faith in humanity and to kind of like help each other heal. The star is all about healing. It's about wish fulfillment. It's about, you know, having that sense of serenity or surrender in your own life and just allowing things to flow, right? The, the swan in the water is very graceful. It floats on top of the water. So it's like not sinking down to that level of the muck, the mud in the bottom of the pond, but like skimming the top, keeping yourself clean and allowing yourself to kind of like sail away and not be bogged down with things. So I do feel like this is a relationship that can really help you uh, restore your faith in mankind, um, peel away all the gunk that accumulated in your past interaction with negative people or even negative situations so that you can you know kind of like have your own sense of emotional balance again okay justice this is all about balance this is all about harmony and so we have a lot of things here that indicate to me the beginning of something new after you have gone through a tremendous uh, period of healing and the healing can only start when we purge things that are no longer good for us and in the process of purging you know you can't purge the good stuff and keep the bad stuff you have to really know what works for you you have to really know who's making me happy and who's not you know this situation might feel like very emotional roller coaster ish it's very up and down it's very exciting at the same time but i also feel it can be draining i can also feel like it got you into an emotional space that was not happy for you and it made you doubt yourself and when we're in a situation and dealing with people that that can be very confusing they send mixed signals it can be so aggravating Sagittarius you don't tolerate that in your friends you don't tolerate that with family members and yet I feel like you tolerate it with this person which is saying a lot because I feel that in the realm of emotions, you got swept away with the tides and I feel like this person really dragged you down. And so we want to look at things in our lives, take stock about where we are right now, what we really need to be happy, who is alongside us, not giving us problems, but supporting us rather than, you know, dwelling on who's behind us, still trying to lure us back and not really giving us anything right and so I feel this is a month about clarity about getting to the root of what makes you emotionally fulfilled okay focus your energy on that focus your intention on that and in the process of figuring out you know this is good for me and this is bad for me emotionally so once you kind of like figure that out, I feel like you can then start to manifest and draw in the things that actually make you a lot more happy, okay? Um, I hope the reading is helpful. I hope this uh, video finds you well. And I do wish you all the very, very, very best for the month of February. You have the past and then you have the present, even the future. And so you can go either way, Sagittarius. But I do want you to be happy and I do want you to, you know, um, move away from whatever troubled you, okay? Move away from the muck and be, for, for whatever reason, the whole concept about the smell, the smell is um, coming in very strongly. And you know, a lot of the times too, um, our, our, our pH balance, our body chemistry, right? Um, it is very different. It varies from person to person. So for example, you can have like a bottle of perfume and you can spray it on yourself and smell it and it smells different from like your sister who sprays the same um, perfume or from somebody else like a stranger. So our body chemistry uh, affects the smell, okay? And so I feel there's a very strong message here about a smell. If you're, if you meet somebody and the way that they smell not that they have, you know, body odor, but for if there's like a cologne or a perfume that they use and it just doesn't agree with you, 
it means like on a chemical level it's probably not uh, uh, the right person for you because it's an evolutionary way to detect who's a good mate for us and who might not be okay and so i feel like if you're dating if you're speed dating and you have very very little time to make up your mind uh that might be a really good you know gauge to go by i mean granted everything else has to be in place right like they have to be nice they have to be adventurous they have to be outdoorsy and and all the things that you love and then you know on top of that the smell maybe the smell is like the quickest giveaway for you as to you know who might be a good fit okay so i will leave it at that uh sagittarius please take care of yourself this month okay I will talk to you guys soon. If you are in need of spiritual guidance, um, I do have a link in the um, description box below and it's going to take you to a website for a colleague. Her name is Bridget. She's a psychic based out of California. If you, you need guidance, if you're you know uh, looking for guidance for somebody else as well, I highly recommend that you get a reading with her. I will leave it at that. Please take care of yourself and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a very wonderful Valentine's Day for those celebrating. And um, I will be back for your reading. I will try, I promise. I will very try. Um, I'll try to start with Virgos and then go from there, okay? Take care and um, have a wonderful February. <laughs>